Hey there, very warm welcome to you. This is Talking Rajin again with WR News and we will proceed to our top stories of this week. So the first story is about Triple Honor weekend. So this post was made by official page of War Robots on Facebook on 1st of July. So according to this, all players will get 3 times honor point reward and triple the experience for you, for all your pilots uh, from every match of this weekend. So it has already started at the time of recording. So you should start grinding and it will last till 8th of July 9 am and the time zone uh, here mentioned is UTC um, and also the honor point booster uh, is removed from the game but if you still have some left in your inventory then you should check and maybe you, you can get even more honor point so uh, you should try that. So next story is also from Facebook and this post was made on 4th of July and this they have said. We, we made a decision to delay the start of community challenge. It will return next week and currently they are resolving issues with game room version so that all players are able to participate in the event. So they have not revealed any uh, details about this community challenge they have mentioned here. But if we have to make any assumptions, I think it will be something similar to the PUBG uh, upgrade pass event. In, in which they set a goal like if five to six million players if they upgrade their pass then all will get a certain reward so also I think they will do they will do something like that uh, there will be a certain task in which everyone will have to uh, contribute all around the community and then when it's completed everyone get a everyone will get a reward so maybe it will be something like that. So next story is about War Robots test server this weekend. So we will be testing the new robots again, Phantom and Behemoth. And according to Manny's new video, there will be some visual changes to both these robots. Maybe they will have a new design or uh, improved texture. Um, next we have a new active module called Phase Shift, uh, about which we don't have any kind of information right now. That will be revealed tomorrow on test server, which is very soon, about in 12 hours from from the time of recording um, and also the shield breaker that module is gone for good uh, and it's actually uh, like it's a good thing because a lot of players were asking for that they were not happy with how it's uh, it's being implemented and next thing we have a new last stand visual markers which is an idea by Manny again uh, he mentioned it in his video in his latest video uh, and also he showed a picture which he created so he has edited this uh, to show as an example to Pixonic on how to implement this feature and at the last it says weapons and robots rebalance so again from Manny's new video uh, he told about the machine gun rework about uh, about a rebalance for all the machine gun weapons uh, in the game like Punisher, Avenger, Molot and uh, Tempest also maybe so yeah that's what this weapon uh, rebalance is about and also the robots next story is coming from Manny Gaming so Manny is gone on vacation for two weeks so if you like watching War Robots Wednesdays then it's a bad news for you because there will be no live stream for next two Wednesdays uh, but he mentioned that the videos will still keep flowing because he has pre-prepared all the videos for next uh, for the time period of his vacation. So that's it. That's all the news we have for this week. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly news. This is Talking Raijin with WR News and good to have you with us.